me, Bella Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. It has been a while since I have grabbed a foundation that I really was like, I feel like I need her in my collection. I did a quick little first impression the other day on my TikTok of the Bobbi Brown Weightless Skin Foundation and I liked it enough that I felt like I needed to do a full YouTube video to really get into the details and really test it out. So if you are interested in learning a bit more about this foundation, stay tuned. Okay, let's get into this new foundation. Disclaimer, I am filming at my vanity for the first time. Big natural light windows, but there may be some horns or background sound. I don't know, I live downtown now, so we'll just see. But this is the Bobbi Brown Weightless Skin Foundation in the shade Cool Walnut. I did order online. Um, it was a decent shade match, so I am excited about that. Y'all know I'm gonna get into some of the details. This is available at Sephora. It retails for $57. It has a few different claims that I was a little impressed by that I felt like it kind of held up to. Let me go ahead and start applying so you guys can see. I'm going to go from palette to brush to my face. That's just how I like to apply. I have not tried using um, this with a sponge or fingers. It's said to use either or. I'm just a brush girl personally. It claims to, it has SPF 15. It says it is medium to um, full buildable coverage. So that is our shade match with just one stroke. Pretty good and pretty good coverage as you can see. Um, natural finish, which I will say it has a pretty natural finish. You can see that is pretty skin light. Semi matte, long wearing. Um, it says up to 24 hour wear, which I'm not testing it that long personally, but you know, you might have an event or something where you need a little bit longer coverage. I've had pigmentation around my mouth and it's doing a pretty good job of covering that. Non-comedogenic, so we do not have to worry about breakouts or clogging our pores. And it does have that hyaluronic acid, so it has some of that um, minimizing of the pores and that oil um, mattifying properties that I'm looking for because I am oily combination. So this is how it's applying all over. This was about two pumps that I applied and I'm just working that all over. Pretty good coverage so far. I feel like if you are an Estee Lauder girl or a Lancome girl, to me, this feels very, very similar, which is why I said I feel like this is a good foundation to have in your collection as a staple. It doesn't feel like very gimmicky or like trendy. It just feels like a really good staple foundation. $57 is on the higher end, but it feels again in that same tier of those foundations. And I feel like it makes sense because it has a really nice finish, a really nice coverage. It's not like brand new skin. I don't feel like it, you know, is super duper shellac on. Like I used to say my, um, oh, we're out of focus. Okay. Like I used to say my Kat Von D foundation used to be like a brand new face i don't feel like it's like super duper heavy weightless is very true it feels very weightless i don't feel like i have anything on my face it feels very natural which i love so i haven't even really used all of the two pumps and this is the coverage that we are looking at right now so you can see it's not dewy but it is that satin finish Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath M17 concealer and put that right under my eyes. This foundation does say that it is sweat resistant and waterproof. So those are some pretty big claims, but for summertime and everyday wear, again, that is really good, which is why I said I feel like if you like this, this would be like a staple foundation. Um, you know, Sephora does do samples, so if you feel like this is up your alley or this is something that you think you're interested in, I would definitely say she's worth getting a sample for. This is my first Bobbi Brown foundation, and I liked it. I was impressed. I was nervous getting a foundation from online without testing the color or seeing the color in person, but I think it's a pretty good shade match, especially for my summer shade. Gonna let this dry down a bit, and then we will start to blend her out. Okay, I'm just using this Real Technique brush to 
blend this out a few notes for application it does suggest when using a brush to apply it to the back of your hand and to um, press it in for full coverage and to go into circular motions for medium i just personally like to use the palette i have really sensitive skin and i just don't like to use fingers or any extra like skin if i don't have to that's just personal preference using your fingers or your hand is going to help to warm up the product and just help to blend it out even more so that will probably help you in your application that's just personal preference so this is blending very well with the concealer i feel like once you put it down it is not like moving around or mixing with the concealer and like making a mess is kind of staying where it is and then once i blend the edges out i felt like it was blending well i try to run but see i'm not that fast i think first but surely finish last last okay i'm just taking my powder puff I'm still just looking at the finish and the coverage of everything. I feel like this is looking very good and very smooth. I've been really stuck on my NARS foundation lately and then my Fenty Hydrovisor when I'm going for a softer look, but I feel like this is a really good foundation. This is my first, like I said, my first Bobbi Brown foundation that I've really been using. I tried to, um, a foundation stick a really long time ago. This is my first liquid for them. And I really like it. If you use Bobbi Brown, let me know what products you use from them because I definitely want to kind of dabble in the line more. I definitely want to try a concealer to see. I'm using a throwback. I'm using a Ben Nye powder. Sometimes when I have products, I just like to try products that I know I used to use a lot just to see. This is a combo of the Beauty Bakery blush and a e.l.f. blush mixing together orange and a pink. I really like the combo of the two. I usually do that in a powder together or a liquid together. The Juvia's Place liquid blushes are beautiful and mix really well together. Um, they can just be a lot to blend out sometimes. So sometimes I like to just use a powder if I'm doing a quick face. I feel like this is layering really well, this foundation, and it still feels very lightweight. I feel like it's, I don't want to keep saying weightless because that's the name, but it feels, it still feels very weightless, which I do like. For people who don't like to feel like they have on makeup, I feel like this, this is a good one. It doesn't feel like you have on a mask at all. And I, I use a good amount and I went, I put it all over. I feel like if you wanted to use a beauty blender or your fingers, it would feel even lighter. You could really sheer it out and make it feel even more lightweight. Of course, going in with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. So worth it. This is... She was pricey. I feel like she was like 60, maybe $70, but so worth it. This doesn't even look like I've used it. This looks like I just bought it. For the summer especially, I've really been like, these quick faces have been my best friend because it's like, it's hot, we're trying to get out of here. And being able to find a foundation that you can put on quickly that gives you the coverage you need is important. I'm trying a new lip combo today. I was on the hunt for the perfect nude. This is a Juvia's Place lip liner in brownie. At night, day and night. I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see, I don't. I'm going to use MAC Velvet Teddy. And finishing with brown sugar from Juvia's Place. Okay, y'all. Here is the face with a little concealer, a little bronzer, a little lip. Overall, I think that the Bobbi Brown Weightless Skin Foundation is a good staple to have in your collection. It's $57 at Sephora, but I really feel like it lives up to a lot of the claims. It definitely is, like I said, weightless. It has those oil controlling properties. I'm interested to see how it does throughout the day. I am oily combination and I will be keeping it on. I won't be doing like a 24 hour wear test or anything crazy, but overall I can definitely see like, it's a pretty matte 
finish and I didn't do any super mattifying primers or setting sprays or powders or anything like that and it's a general kind of natural skin finish and I feel like it blends out pretty well. It has the hyaluronic acid and it's just a really pretty finish. I matched online and it matched me pretty well. It is available at Sephora so I think it's worth going in and checking out the colors, getting a sample, getting matched. Like I said, it's comparable to some other foundations. If you like those, I think it's worth trying them but I was really, I was really pleasantly surprised. I will definitely be checking out other products in the Bobbi Brown line. If you were interested and you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Drop in the comments below if you have any of their products or if you have tried this foundation already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.